Blessed be Rose. Welcome back to my channel, Bohemian Bro Tarot. I am your reader, Bohemian Bro. Um, sorry for a couple things I want to get out the way. So one, sorry for being MIA for a while. I just been going, not been going through it. I just physically, I just been not completely well, I guess to be honest. But then also, I just needed a break. I think I was in such a burnout. It was insane. Um, but I'm back now, and I'm gonna be posting consistently again and uh what was the other thing oh yeah personal readings are now open um they are so if you would want to purchase a personal reading um the link is in the description box below please do while you're down there don't forget to hit like and subscribe for your boy so you can grow his channel oh and if you're new here any noises in the background is either background music or on it so Without further ado, let's just pull some cards and see what spirit has to say. Um, I know that I've been MIA, but like, how have you guys been? I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have been doing okay. I kind of want to shuffle in a different way, though. What do you have to say, spirit? They kind of want that card to come out. Oh, that shit. Okay. Sorry, there's a card at the bottom of the deck, and it wanted it to come out and I was not willing it but it is the three of cups so right now you could be celebrating something or maybe um it would I just heard it may be noteworthy to maybe take some time to celebrate um I was shuffling just some energies earlier um before I started the reading just to kind of see what the energy was and I did get um what was it six of pentacles which kind of gave me it was three, it was three cards it was six of pentacles emperor and something else i forgot but it kind of gave me the same message which was just like maybe there's right now a time to celebrate in your life and celebration doesn't have to mean that you have to like exclaim to the high heavens but i think it just means take a break um a well-needed break if you need um it also came up on a show i was watching earlier yesterday yeah last night um and it also kind of had the message of just kind of just being able to take a break. Sometimes you work hard without even knowing it um, and burnout just kind of happens, right? You could have been, you could be coming out of this space of burnout right now. Um, you could also be, I'm just reading the energies right now. You could also be coming out of a place of burnout um, and maybe going into like maybe a place of companionship. Like you could be around a lot more people. Um, a lot more people doesn't have to mean you went from like zero to a hundred it just means like maybe you went to like zero to like three you know what i mean like a little more people than you're generally used to see what other messages you have okay wow eight of wands so you could have too much going on around you or you could be dil dipping i just can't be dealt because i was about to say delving into too much um like you could be taking on a lot more than you're really anticipating you know what i mean like and it's not a bad thing because I think there's a lot of like positive things that's going on in your life. I think you're just overwhelmed. Um, you could just take, need to take a bit of time to, what is it like, organize a little bit, just a day. Like it doesn't like it doesn't have to be. I think when people say this, it doesn't have, it doesn't mean your whole you have spent a whole era doing this. It just means you need to take a day or two, or an hour or two, or whatever to no, an hour or two. I'm hearing at least minimum an hour or two to um look at what you're about to do and what you're about to bark on or like just organize your organize the good in your life like i think a lot of times you organize the bad like you could be organizing like a lot of bills and stuff like that you know what i'm saying but like organize the good organize the job opportunities you have organize the financial opportunities you have the creative opportunities you have what's going on around you you could be missing a lot of like maybe that's what you need to like celebrate like celebrate the fact that you could be you you could also have a lot of maybe ah yes okay so you could this is like burnout ten of wands energy like you you feel like maybe you've been kind of doing it all on your wow one thing for sure about having a dog bro is their hair will be fucking everywhere if you have a lab shit or any dog really you know but labs god they shit disrespectfully um and she's a lab mix so crazy um but i love her i don't hear me i don't want her to hear me talking shit about her <laughs> sorry um but like, again, you could be in, in a space of burnout or coming out of burnout, or maybe burnout is imminent if you keep on doing what you're doing, you know? Like, I think you, you need time to really like get into your, I just, 
get into your like loving bag you know what i mean like where is all the love that like you put into things where is like you need your heart back bro you need you need maybe just a little more excitement into your life and excitement comes from when you change up what you normally do excitement comes when you you've been you know what i'm saying like you, you you shift into the newer possibilities so instead of doing what you normally do how can you change that how can you make small changes into something a little more fun for you right like if you want to go in your car and drive but you have nowhere to go to does that matter drive take your best buddy take your best friend take you know your family take whatever just do the sun right like okay I don't know if that's, uh, I mean, it's great, the sun, but like also I just heard, like, take what resonates, but you know, for those who need to hear it, I just heard, um, yo, like, the, please do not burn too bright. But like this, again, comes from like this MJ Ace of Cups, and then we also have the Dreamer, which is like the, um, the Fool in this uh, deck. I think... I think you could, this could be you opening your heart again. And opening your heart to the people around you is a start. Um, but I think what's also happening is that you are also, because you're opening your heart to just the people around you, you are again opening your, your yourself to a sense, to the endless possibilities. Like the, the, when you open up to anything, just be open. The possibilities are endless. You may have been so rigid lately or not even lately, just rigid in the way that you see how anything is gonna work, see how you're gonna work. I think what was missing is the humanity you had in yourself and like what you gave yourself grace for, what made you love yourself, you now hated yourself for. Like the, the things that like you, cause I, I feel like someone who, started their spiritual journey right and when you start your spiritual journey you love you you learn to love yourself right you learn to love or at least for me right when i did mine i'll be you know honest and when I, learned my, I learned to love myself fully truly right like all the things right all the things that people told you you were shit right for you realize in your spiritual awakening that like that's what makes me awesome right being able to feel so many different things being able to um, be in tune and be connected to so many things, even people, even humanity. It was something that I thought was beautiful. And in time, I think that like what happened was you went from this three of cups energy, you know what I'm saying, to uh, to almost this ten of wands, right? Like this energy of like where everything is so for naught, right? Like you did, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's like. Look how the look how like when the three of cups they're dancing in the fields they look luscious they look bountiful right abundant right I, I wish I would focus a little more there you go oh damn but like there we go okay it, you know what I'm saying it's luscious it, it's it's beautiful but when you get to ten of wands it's still a green green pasture right there's still fields there's still room to grow more but it's barren right it's like all the effort and all the things that once were there you can't really see anymore, even though there's still possibility for it to grow again. It's still possible. I mean, it's still a beautiful, to me, I mean, it's still a beautiful day outside. I mean, one, it is, but then also, like, we're on the card. But, like, what I mean is that it, I'm just getting this energy of, you could be, like, you could be going through, like, actual health issues, like, actual physical problems manifested by pain, by stress, by all the negative things that you've taken on for so long. And that one is on you, I gotta admit. This one's on you, this is what you take on. This is what you put yourself into. This is what you tell yourself. This isn't what everybody else tells you. This is what you're doing to yourself. I just feel like this is energy of someone who just, you gave your all and it kind of came up like for nothing. And I don't wanna say it like that, but it just feels like it. You know what I'm saying? Like a personal journey of trying to get, make the world a better place and give back a lot more love. You could have been like someone who wanted to give back a lot more love and it kind of burned you. You know what I mean? A lot of fire, you know what I'm saying? It burned you. But I think what you're missing is what Spirit is offering you right now is a like a connection. A connection to, I think, not... Not romantic. I'm not getting romantic, but it's really feeling like a connection to your higher self again i think maybe you were your higher self at one point you were the version of you that you really 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 wanted to be forever 
and you became that person, but then the world turned you into something else. It kind of made you harden who you are. And now you've been on this kind of this journey, right? A new start to trust yourself again. Trust yourself to, you know what I'm saying? Like trust yourself to, <laughs> why are you trying to focus on the archangel in the back, bro? <laughs> Funny. Trust yourself to, what am I getting? Like, to not let yourself go back to, that's kind of what I was feeling one reading a ago. Like, not let yourself go back to a place where you were so naive. I think you want that naivete, but not to be naive, if that makes sense. Like, you want to have that energy again where you look at, like, the clouds. Oh, that's what I'm getting. Um, you could be someone who, like, look, like, to look at the sky or take pictures of the clouds. Like, you could have had, like, INFP type personality types. Um, not personality types, but personality type qualities. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like, feelers love to do that. Like, they love to just look at things and just be in the world be open you could have been like a tree hugger like an actual person who hugs a tree which is great but i think maybe you've turned yourself into a person who goes into nature instead of just for joy just for the fact that like you need it you know what i mean which is fine oh god you saw that i didn't mean to put the carpet back i didn't want to put that oh so terrible. It's meant, if it's meant to be it's meant to be bottom of the deck we got the hermit yeah i think you need to like spend time with yourself again to spend time Maybe re-examine like what you're shining your light on. You know what I mean? Like re-examine like where your energy is going because when the hermit's in his cave, right? All he has is that lantern and he follows that lantern out. But what is he following that light to? What are you following your light towards? What is it that you're giving your self to? Your energy, your time your spirit your space your environment your attention right energy um i heard this quote and i fucking stole it because it is what it is because it's so awesome um it was on a, like a ted it's not a ted talk i'm like a commercial on youtube so i was like mm. um but energy flows where attention goes right like that land that the, the hermit is focused on his lantern that's what makes it shine right and even in the traditional right away deck he's staring at I mean, in person, he's staring down, but like he's staring at the lantern, right? The light is the only thing that guides him in this sense. And the light could be anything. The light can be, right? No one says that. The light, we're just like, follow your light, but the light could be anything. The light could be his self. It could be his inner workings, right? What he's working on within himself. It could be what he's following, but it is essentially what he is following towards his destiny, towards what he calls uh, seven cups. Wow, this is really pretty. This is a really pretty deck, bro. Seven of Cups. Like, I think it's time for you to make a choice. Like, before you step out, you need to understand what it is that you're wanting, what it is that you're going after, what it is that you want to... What is it that you want to bring yourself out of this Ten of Wands energy for? See, I'm not gonna put it back. I'm not gonna put it back. I'm gonna let it come out. Four of Swords, right. So... Again, that hermit energy. So th there's a really big need right now for you to take, again, rest, vacation. Like a, a moment to just breathe. Breathe and just take it in. Like not only is she meditating, but her armor's off. I didn't even notice that. But you know what I'm saying? And look what's underneath. It's a beautiful pajamas. But really. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Take the time. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. You could be rushing or think that like, your opportunities are slipping away and it could not be further from the truth. Um, I think it is necessary for you to make sure that like you don't waste time, but like the world, wow, bro. And you know what's crazy? They look like the same girl, if I'm being honest. You know what I'm saying? They kind of do. Um, and also like she found enlightenment within herself, right? Within going inside and allowing, your, like, allowing yourself to like, Allowing yourself time, like, to make a decision. Sometimes you rush yourself into the making decisions when you don't have to. Sometimes I feel like you may almost, like, force your own hand into things or doing things. And it's fun to, like, discipline yourself. Why did I get that? That's a weird... I'm sorry. I, I just... Because I knew what I was going to say. It's weird that fun was the word that I was chosen in my mental. Because, um, you know, I don't... But you could be someone who finds it more comfortable to be more disciplined on yourself or a lot more, 
how to put it, like, just hard on yourself, truly. Like, you could just be someone who's just genuinely hard on yourself. And probably because you know you have more to offer and because you know you have more to give. But I think it's something it comes from you wanting to protect that so badly that like you forget that you have to be human. You have to live life. You have to have fun in the midst of all this. And I don't mean like, and it doesn't have to be so much, so much so of like you having to like, how do I put it? Like be super like, like I'm not telling you to slack off on your goals or dreams, but I'm telling you to give yourself more room and give yourself more experiences that allow yourself to see that other people are human too. Other people also have hardships and they go through things and that you're not alone. And I don't mean not alone as in, I just mean, I don't have to explain it. Just, I mean, you're not alone as in, you're not the only one who has these experiences. You're not the only person who hurts. You're not the only one who goes through immense pain, both physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. However, you're not the only one who has people talk shit about them or hate them or live in a bad situation. Your car could be shit right now, but you're not the only one, right? You could not be in the best of apartments or houses right now, but you're not the only one. You could be going through a divorce or your kids could be leaving and it hurts, you know what I'm saying? Or your husband could be leaving for deployment or your spouse, your wife, your significant other could just be drifting away. You could be in anything. It, these, all these things are part of the human experience and, and, I, and I can only name what I can, only, you know, what I can only bring to, forth to my mind, you know what I'm saying? But like, how, how vast is that experience that you sometimes forget that other people experience it too, you know, because of how isolated these events feel, right? Ah, oh, fucking commercial. God damn. Um, sorry, I hate commercials and live streams. Uh, <laughs> but that's how they sponsor so whatever. Um, because I think this is also just you being hard on yourself too. Like, you're, you're not giving yourself grace you're not giving yourself like humanity and because of that you're missing it in other people and that's why you're ending up so lonely if i'm being honest like it feels like someone who what's the bathroom today because your scarf's slipping out six of one yo like victory when uh, like i i think it's it, you'll find your passion and your fire for the world back when you learn to give it to yourself again like you have to try you have to just give yourself some time though. Like you're looking at your old mistakes and old, I mean, which are calling mistakes and old experiences and calling yourself an idiot because of it. Telling yourself that you should have done better. You should have done more. But what did you know at that time? What did you have around going on around you? What were your circumstances? What were your issues that you were dealing with? What, you know what I'm saying? What were your given solutions at the time? You know what I'm saying? Like. You, you're missing, you're not giving, I don't feel like you're giving yourself the opportunity to be human. Like, and I just, and I don't mean just in how you respond to things, but in how you treat yourself when it comes to life. Like, do you allow yourself to make mistakes? And I know sometimes you'll be like, yeah, but I mean, really, like, I mean, do you chastise yourself even in small ways? Oh, I should have done that better. I should have wrote that better. I should have said that better, I should have done this better, or finding ways where you could have done things so much better without realizing that you did it right the first time. Regardless of how it came out, like you meant to say a word, but you stuttered and you slipped, and now you think that this person that you have a crush on hates you. No, you don't know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, you did it right the first time. Whatever the outcome is, you did it right the first time. I think that like, if you're like me, maybe you've been so obsessed with outcomes that like you forgot to live the human experience. You forgot that there are other ways of existence that doesn't have to hurt so bad. And that sometimes we only hurt because we want ourselves to. And you could be someone who subconsciously wants yourself to. And it could be because you're so used to playing victim or not playing the victim, but you've been the victim for so long. But now it's time to come out of that. It's time to recognize that, that you have everything that you need to do whatever it is you want. 
And it starts from giving yourself the things that you need, right? That's how we started this spiritual journey. And I think that's how we need to even go at it again, right? The, the dreamer card, the full, like the full energy of maybe recognizing that we maybe we need to start a different journey. Maybe the problem is that we're trying to start over and we don't need to start over. We just need to start something different. And something different could be taking that different approach. What would it be if you, 2022, as I said, that 2024, as I said that one. <laughs> um, what would it be like if you just gave your humanity back? Like, if you just gave your all to just existing, living. And I don't mean a miserable existence or, and I definitely don't mean like being complacent or a fucking zombie. <laughs> what I mean is giving yourself the opportunity to live. I, I, I don't know what that means for you, but whatever it is, like get an ice cream cone, get, go to Baskin Robbins, go to Dunkin Donuts, go get yourself, I don't know why I'm making it like, like but I just wanna be like, treat yourself, get yourself a donut, get yourself a pup cup for your dog, get yourself, a, I don't know what cats eat, catnip cup? <laughs> oh, they have them, they sell them in stores. You know what I'm saying? Like. And that's just the bare minimum. Like, go to the park, go travel, take yourself to another city, take yourself to the beach. It's hot, it's summer, where I'm at at least. Um, take yourself places, take yourself to experience different things that isn't what you normally would call drab or what you're feeling is drab. Like, if you want an experience out of life, you have every right to go get it. You gotta get it. I don't know. I just, I, these are the pay, I'll take note that the patience and support card came out, but I, I did a reading a while ago and those two cards are kind of close together and they were there last time and it could be spirit bringing a message, but also bad shuffling and stuff. Okay. Moon magic transformation. Right. Transmutate how you see yourself. You could have, I just heard this, you could have had. Um, not like so much as pain full things happen, although this feels definitely that. And you could have, no, no, okay, what am I trying to say? You would have also been victim of certain circumstances. Like, I, like, I'll explain something to you. So, there's a parking garage I used to dance at that they tore down. As you can't see, there's a card that's like kind of coming out, and I kind of want to get it because it just is catching my attention because of the way it. Okay, so there's a parking garage that was like, I used to dance at a lot when I was in my, um, follow the moon. Wow, watch for the sun. Beautiful card, I was not expecting that. Middle of the deck, we have changes. Now from the bottom of the deck, right? I just wanna show you the card, it's really pretty. But like, watch for a sign, watch for spirit and how they talk to you. How did you, how, how did you used to communicate to spirit before it was always prayers and manifestations and please answer this, right? Wow, patience came out again, so patience. Um, like, before, like, what am I trying to say? Like, there could be a communication error between you and your guides. Like, you could be someone who prays a lot for certain things, but, like, you forgot to speak to your spirit guides. You forgot to treat them maybe with the same love that, like, you want them to treat you with. Not that they ever would sh shift their love for you because you forgot to say thank you because they really do care always, infinitely. Really, they do. But... I think there there is a difference between always going oh god to going uh, hey god you know what i mean like hey spirit i just need to talk to you for a second and it's always necessary necessary like i was gonna change the word but no necessary that's what came out like and it is spiritual beings we our connection to spirit is one of the most important things that defines our experience on earth right like i, I I don't know where I would be without spirit. Like, I don't know where I would be without the ability to make decisions based on intuitive thought and tarot cards and all and, 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 and angel numbers and signs and different different things that like me and my spirit team create that I'm pretty sure you and your spirit team create as well. What happened to you ever creating your own languages with your spirit team? 444 for me means something different than 444 for everybody else. Really, it does. Like, it always, anytime I see 444, it's always a sign for me to rest or to calm down in a situation. Always, 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 always. And that's just something that me and my spirit guide just had together. You know what I'm saying? Everybody always says protection, which is great too. You know, I don't deny it. 
But for me, my language is different because I'm saying it's it's personal. But that was the fun part about when I had my spiritual awakening the first time <laughs> was that I learned that I could create a language with my own spirit team that only I understand. And not because, not just because it's fucking cool, but like also because it helps me guide through life, navigate through life, you know what I mean? Like how awesome is it to go, oh, I'm in a situation where I'm in an argument with somebody and I see 444, right? Somebody else sees it and maybe something different. But for me, in that, in that moment, it means for me to relax myself in the situation and maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe find myself a different perspective, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's just my language and that's just what happens. But like, what I'm, I guess I'm just trying to say is that like, I really, really, really think Spirit wants you to just have... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And it's funny because the I put the card on a different, I didn't even know how organized it was. So on this half right here, we have the uh, transformation moon magic card, bringing everything together. And what Spirit needs you to do right now all together, um, the message is to one, transmutate. Transform the energy that is inside of you right now. Transform all of that, that excitement, that rage, that anger, that, that, hate and turn it into what it truly is meant to be and that's the light inside of you um take a walk go to the library go do something you enjoy turn go dance go sing all right baby girl god she's wearing her yellow collar today and yellow brings out her brown eyes oh my fucking gosh she's so gorgeous um you know what i'm saying like transform that energy again go back to who you were, how did you drink, I just heard, okay, uh, drink tea, drink some coffee, um, smoke your weed, you know what I'm saying, like, do what you need to do to bring yourself closer to your higher self again, and uh, your higher self, I think, is someone you already were, I think you just have a misconception of always trying to go forward, or like, go up, or, like, your higher self is always out of reach, but you've already, you've been there before, you've been your higher self, and I think you missed it, you missed the power that you had because now that like you're almost without it doesn't it feel great to think about that time wherever time that was i'm just getting this energy and just like remember who you were then and you don't have to become that person again but but learn to integrate who you are now and who you were before into a, a, a much better version a brighter more capable effective version of yourself if that's what you're afraid of if that's what you want then do it um but we also have follow the moon right it's stamp with stamp in the middle i don't know i just moved the middle and that is for watch for signs but watch for signs for burnout and then watch for signs for procrastination going on right like how much time are you spending wasting anything what are you wasting like what, how much time are you done just wasting like, how much time have you done wasting energy, time, efforts? You know what I'm saying? Like, be careful about um, making decisions that lead to burnout when you know they do. Um, decisions for you right now are what's best. Um, but then we have, okay. Um, okay, watch for, like, signs of confusion watch for when you're overwhelmed when you are in this space where you are incapable of making a decision properly um watch for indicators of when you are triggered by certain situations rather than making a decision from an intuitive um place you know what i mean like be aware of where you're coming from when making decisions are you going after this opportunity because you're scared? Are you going to, are you going up after this opportunity because it presented itself in the right way? You know what I mean? Like, don't go because like don't, like if you have a new chance to get a new job, don't get a new job because you're scared of losing your old one. Go get a new job because you want to progress your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, remember why you're doing something and remember that the reasons and intentions you put into the thing that you're going after and things that you want are the things that are going to sow those seeds later. That's the energy that's going to sow them. So um, be careful what energy you plant your seeds with. Um, anybody and everybody, really. All bros, okay? Um, and last but not least, we have moon cycles, which also carries another patience placed on this 
the wall on my cards. Um, which just kind of gives me this message of things will take time. Um, things will take time. It's not something that is going to be rushed. It may happen a lot quicker than you think, but definitely don't rush it. Like, don't force your own hand anymore. Like, you're going against your own morals and beliefs and your own... And your own morals and beliefs, I don't mean like... what I mean, like, everything that you've worked... Everything you've fucking done. Every... Oh, sorry, I mean the cards. Everything that you've done thus up until this point, right? Like, every journey you've been on, every awakening you've had back to back sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Every dark night of the soul, every hermit mode that sometimes comes also comes back to back. You know what I'm saying? All those things that are like one after another, one after another, and seem endless. Remember why you did those things. Remember what you did them for. Why? Sometimes we start one journey and we keep on going. And I know I, I spoke to somebody the other day who agreed. It was like, I, you know, it gets tiring. It's like, you know, why do I have to keep learning these lessons? Why do I have to keep. But may, maybe this is why. Maybe it's because you found yourself, you got away from yourself, you just need to find yourself again. And sometimes that can be even more, and sometimes that can be even more exhilarating and exciting than you really think it is. Like, I just had someone to go, ugh, again. But like, no, that can be a great thing because who you are shifted and changed from where you first were. You know what I'm saying? That even after that first spiritual awakening, you weren't fully set. You were great, right? But you're not fully set because you don't even know, you didn't even know, you didn't know then what you know now. Sometimes that can be a blessing and a curse. <laughs> But knowledge is always power, so blessings galore. But I'm gonna leave that there because I'm not taking that. This is very channeling is just taking a lot out of me lately. I've been doing a lot. But yes, y'all. Um hopefully it's resonated with you in some kind of way and you find some peace in it and find some message that you can pull out of it. I will be making more videos. Don't forget to um, hit the like and subscribe button down below. Please, please, please go uh, purchase a personal reading today. I got y'all. Um, I'm still working on the process of delivering them because Google is wild. Um, but right now I'm just delivering them in drop bo in Dropbox because uh, I'll give you guys a personal link for it. Um, each reading that I do, that's personal. Ah, man. see, channeling messes up my thing. What I mean is, when you purchase a personal reading. Um, what you will receive is a personal link uh, directed to your video that only you can access. So, yes. Until I figure out an easier way to just deliver it by mail, email. Because Google's like, it's really too big. I'm like, how? How? It's 2024. You have AI in Google. Tell him to deliver it. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you guys next time. And hope you guys have a wonderful day, evening, night, dusk, or whenever you guys are watching this. Blessed be, bros.